Okay, so we're back in the junkyard. Max had that weird ass tornado vision again. So. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Yeah. I'm sure that'll end well with her just fucking dicking around with the gun. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Well, she is oblivious to the fact that she's been shot and killed twice. Well, I guess she didn't really die the second time, but... I mean... She's been shot twice. Hmm. I had a thought, but I think I'll keep that on the back burner for now. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Wait, uh-oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Uh-oh. Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Oh, uh, this Put can't possibly down. end well. That is hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Hmm. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Hmm. -mm. Let's see what our other option does. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. You know, they say that... Well, let's see. Don't shoot. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me. Or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. 
Hmm. I feel like that might provide the more. You stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. No. Oh, no. Okay. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll stick with this one. Chloe, though, man. I don't know. Bowser, why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. She's kind of a bitch. Um... Like, basic sh basically, she doesn't accept that most of the problems in her life are her own doing. Which. I don't know. I had never lost a parent, so I don't. I can't really identify with what she went through, so I mean, I don't know how bad that. I mean, I'm sure it fucks with your head, but. Probably she seems. To go for a walk. To make everything we both like, need a time out from here. Worse, I don't know. Just. But I feel like there's some foreshadowing there because they say. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. See, I like she doesn't having that like, gun, man. She just fucking thinks that everybody's. Intentionally now you fucking have me her to over. You. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. You might if you don't get your ass off the train. Can we build another pirate board and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Hmm. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Like, she's not gonna drop that, is she? Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Okay, I'm just gonna get this out. 
What if the three bullets on Chloe's necklace is foreshadowing the fact that she's going to be shot three times throughout the course of this story? Perfect. Oh shit. Come on, Chloe. What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Of course. Find a tool to cut those wires. Hurry! Hmm. Nope, shit. Please get me out of here. Shit, I can't budget at all. Wonder if it'll rewind automatically if I like fuck around too long and she gets plastered. Fuck, there's gotta be like a crowbar or something. Nope. There we go. I can definitely use this bad boy. No shit. something in here we can use. And I'm stuck on terrain. Yeah, because if you can't move it with a crowbar, you're not going to be able to move it with a rebar, so. Just force the door open. Score. Find some pliers. There you go, grab them. I can pull a total MacGyver. Uh, no. That's not what MacGyver would have done. He would have made, like, a Max! pair of side cutters out of some tree leaves and sticks. And the train's coming! Max! But which wire to cut? Um, red, blue, yellow. Max, Whoa! Short Circuit City. Again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. This is like some Damn. final destination that shit. Was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice quiet desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. And they might kill her. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. 
That might explain your tornado vision. Hmm. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? <laughs> what do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. All right. The end result of everything with the time manipulation and all that is really what has me hooked and baited now. The overall mystery with the Rachel Amber plot and what's coming with the tornado for Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Is interesting too, but so are you going to that floor the uh, butterfly effect is what I'm lot of curious bodies. about. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Okay, yeah, let's walk around and talk. Hey, See Courtney. what we can find Ciao, out. Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Damn, that was cold. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. I feel like we're going to end up at this party Seriously. in one of the episodes coming up. Speak. Nah. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Fuck you. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Yeah, you're Please just don't say that. There's out nothing anyways. to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Yeah, Probably you're a dick. Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. He is in total denial. Well, I mean, the Prescott thing, he's not going to do anything about because the fucking kid's family is rich. And Madsen, he's just not going to believe excuse her. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit her. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. 
If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. See, uh, I don't know how to read him because, like, he comes but across as such Kate a fucking douchebag. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. But sometimes he Kate seems like he means all right. Wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. -mm. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Reminds me He's definitely more complicated than I think. I originally had him pegged. Uh, like I said, he comes across as such a fucking douche sometimes, but... He seems like he has the student's best interest in, in mind, so... We'll have to see how that progresses. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Think, big brain, think. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. This can't be You already that planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. Hmm. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Bring me the brain, Igor. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, Mr. Wizard hard at work. Hey Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a um, Go diem. Go That's fuck? the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Yeah, Damn. Nothing Zip. happened. Nothing. Nada. Try again. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver asking me for help? Have that either. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. That was a worse pun than the godium one. Weird science. <laughs> yes, I am a scientist. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Not really. You just made something go poof. So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Just leave me alone. Okie dokie. The fuck was that about? Well, I mean, I'm sure I know what it was about, but... Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. 
I assume you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? He's being kind of shifty. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. The fuck? It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. Why this is, is a telling serious him? accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Something fucking weird going on there. Like, the principal... Why would the Principal Wells talk to him about the gun allegation? Because that should have been a confidential matter. And he's acting... Jefferson's acting kind of shifty about the whole Kate and Rachel thing. Something going on. Sorry to Bob. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning it. Just between you and me? That's no secret. I stepped in. Of course. My word isn't good enough? Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I assume you know about this viral. Kate. What if Kate. Yes, I talked to her on the phone. I guess she needs friends. Choices were really Amber. that. With all her. I miss Rachel too. It wasn't really worth rewinding to see, because none of those other choices were really anything I wanted to kind of get did. into. This. So you. Listen. But there's still there's. Make me beautiful, Hayden. I don't know. There's yeah. something weird about that conversation. Dana. Just kind of the way he was acting. I have to keep an eye on him, though. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to drop Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Oh, fuck. Look who's at her desk. <laughs> 